Well, it, it has affected Jamaica considerably. It's estimated that uh, jumping forward to the present period, that there are many Jamaicans living outside of Jamaica in the United Kingdom, in Canada, the United States primarily, as in Jamaica. Now, this has affected us negatively uh, very, very badly. Um, the more educated people have left, and we talk of the brain drain, as you know, and that has meant that a great deal of the uh, manpower that is needed to develop the country is no longer here within its boundaries. At the same time, one has to acknowledge that the remittances from the diaspora are a considerable benefit to the country. At the present time, the remittances from Jamaicans overseas to Jamaica are the major source of foreign exchange inflows. Uh, certainly ahead of bauxite alumina, uh, neck and neck with tourism, but in a way ahead of tourism because of the retention factor. M much of the uh, dollars that come in from tourists who come here go back out in terms of the goods and services which they buy, which have to be imported. So there is that uh, good side and bad side. The migration has reduced the pressure on the domestic economy and society. Um, taking the pressure out of the system, which otherwise might have blown. Uh, one negative impact, which I don't think enough has been made of, is on the family structure. That very often um, the women who play such an important role in our country in so many ways, the backbone of the household, have had to migrate, and that has disrupted the kind of stability and socialization of the young people into uh, civic values and into appropriate uh, conduct, and thereby di diminished the level of civility, particularly among the youth in the last few decades. So migration has been a positive in some uh, cases, um, but a negative in others, and part of the responsibility that all of us uh, face now is how to reduce the negative consequences and enhance the positive um, feedback from migration.